Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Quail Ridge. Let's check out this one. So, we are at Quail Ridge. These are actually duplex townhomes, so they do share a wall. I'm just gonna spin really quickly so you can kind of see where we are. The views are pretty insane. I know right now there's a lot of kind of, it's not smog, it's more of a mist. It feels like it's gonna rain, but I wanna zoom on back and get back to this one. Now, I'm gonna be doing a 12 days of Christmas giveaway. I'm very excited about that. In order to win, you need to be subscribed. You will have to comment on the video and like those videos. So make sure to hit the notification bell to keep updated on those. Do me a huge favor and hit the like button because it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, real quick, I am gonna be doing a live Q&A live stream. Never done one before, but I think it would be fun if you have questions, I would love to answer. Kind of do you wanna ask me anything? I'm afraid to say ask me anything, but if you wanna ask me even what I did before real estate, I am more than happy to answer. So this one right here, this is the resident four. It's 1,711 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. You can actually do an optional four bedroom in this one. The HOA is 150 month. This one starts at 294,990. Now again, duplex. So it will share a wall with the other one right there. I'm going to spin right across right here. These are the other two models that they have. So they have four different models. Again, as you can see, duplex shared wall. But this is the largest unit that they have. This one starts at 294,990. The average person, well, let's just say the lot premium is 30 to 40,000. You can expect probably $30,000 worth of optional upgrades in this one. So call it 350 ish, 360 maybe for this particular one. Again, if you have any questions, all of my info is down in the description below. And like I always say in all my videos, if you want to see a new home resale, anything in between, especially a new home, don't go filling information out online. Don't go to the uh, office and talk to the sales associates because the builders associates do work for the builders. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builders and you would like representation. So make sure to give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Really nice how open this is. Before we go to the downstairs, this carpet, I could fall asleep on it right now. It's, it's really nice. I actually had a client close on one of these houses in June and they did the upgraded carpet and it's like a cloud. So coming right here, we get to the loft area. Really nice actually. Good size loft. Again, we're looking at 1,700 square feet and you could get into this for like 330-ish if you don't put any options into it. A couple people have done that, but call this 360 like decked out. So they did the flooring, they did quite a few other options. I This is actually my first time in this home, so let's see where we go. I believe this is actually the master. So coming into this room, good size room actually, really big room. That's a king size bed, two little nightstands and they could definitely go bigger. You have nice size window. They do give you a pre-wire cap for a chandelier and or light or fan. I know a lot of people would like to do the light fan combination. They actually have two closets in here. so. You have a standard two door sliding closet. It feels a little dark in here just because again, most people will put the light fan combo up there. So two door sliding closet. If we spin, you do have another walk-in closet and this one is decent size actually. So it's good to see that they put the double bar. You have another bar there for, you know, if you want to do dresses or longer clothes and some shelving, but you do have two closets in this. Again, this room, this is pretty good size. There's room for a chair. I know it's so funny. I don't actually see the tree or the plant in here. I know so many builders always put the tree or plant in their models. So I really like this color combination with the flooring and the white on white with the 
Is it an oil rubbed or is it a black? They did the black fixtures. I'm only wishing they did the black fixtures on the rest of the hardware. But other than that, I mean, this is like how I'm doing my house. Really, really nice. I'm just gonna check right here. So standard bumper to close. They may have the upgraded sock closing in the kitchen. I know they did that in the last one. You do have your undermounted sinks. It's actually a really nice man-made stone. You have your second undermounted sink and you have your shower. So again, I know I pick apart these like $3 million homes that we show. We're talking like $300,000 and this shower actually has shelving and benches for your soap and shampoos. Now, please don't mind that. That will be fixed by the time you would take ownership in it. Again, it's a model. They have little things here and there that they always need to fix, but they actually have shelving in here, which is incredible. Let's come on back around. And again, I know a lot of people are gonna love the fact that there's a door here. The only reason there's a door there, a lot of the builders don't do that because right, uh, you know what? I'm impressed because a lot of times there isn't a door into the toilet area. So there's only a door here. I know so many people on the channel who are gonna love seeing a door here. I personally wish my bathroom from the master into the bathroom had a door. My girlfriend wakes up at like 5.30 in the morning because she's a medical student. And you have your toilet area. So, really, really nice. I'm impressed. Let's take it on into the laundry room and a very, very good sized laundry room. So you have a folding area with some cabinets, you have your washer dryer. Again, you could always do cabinetry up above if you would like to option up. But other than that, I mean, this is, uh, this is a good sized laundry room. You have your attic access right there. And then again, swinging out, we have this really good size loft. Now I'm assuming since you could do optional fourth bedroom, you would lose the loft and they would put the fourth bedroom somewhere up here. I'm guessing the door would probably be right here. Right here we get to our upstairs bathroom and it's a really nice bathroom. Dual vanity, under mounted sinks, and this is a big vanity. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but there's like almost two feet right here. So really, really nice size vanity. It is the lower countertop height, but under mounted sinks, you have your toilet. Same exact tub shower combo. Oh, excuse me. This one is a tub shower combo compared to the master. But again, shelf, shelf, shelf. There's shelf. There's so much room for shampoos. And that is the biggest complaint I always have in like these million dollar homes. So uh, really, really nice bathroom. Let me know what you think about this down below. If you have questions, I would love to hear them. If you have ideas on how to make the channel better, again, I would love to hear them. But I'm, I'm liking this. Coming into the first of the secondary rooms, this is huge. Because you could easily put a desk here, a chair here, a sitting area, you could put a bench there. That's a full size bed, two nightstands. There is a good size window and there's, this is gonna be probably 11, uh, 10 by 12. Good size, standard, two door closet. This is 10 by 12. This is actually the same size as my secondary bedroom. Again, we are kind of in the Southwest. The views, I wish the camera would like do a better job or do it justice of how good the mountain views are from here because they're really, really pretty. Coming back out of that room into the next bedroom. Again, really nice size bedroom, 10 by 12 again. So full size bed, two nightstands, big window, and another standard two door sliding closet. But I mean, again, you could put a desk or a chair or something like that, good size bedroom. I'm happy when I see these kind of bedrooms. I know a lot of the builders build these little tiny, teeny, tiny, like nine by nine rooms. I like this upstairs loft too. Do you like the chairs? Would you do a bench or a couch? I mean, this is nice. Would you do an optional fourth bedroom? I love reading what everyone has to say. I do read everything. I'm trying to catch up and respond to everyone. But if you have questions on, or if you'd like to 
make a mention on how to make the channel better, let me know. I do read everything. Let's go on into the main living area. So right here, we have our powder room. An interesting powder room. Normally, under the stairs, they do kind of the Harry Potter room. So they did their pedestal sink. And then, you can't even see the toilet coming in here. Here is your toilet behind the door. Kind of like how that is. Again, the front door is right there. So, it's your powder room's kind of hidden, kind of off to the other side. And then, we have our living room, dining room, kitchen. And I feel like they did a really nice job of this. The only kind of questionable thing I, and again, I, I don't try to nitpick houses, but uh, I'm always nitpicking the houses. I feel like I wouldn't want people walking in front of the TV, so I don't know how else you would lay it out, but I, it's really nice. There's this, this living space is really, really large. There's two full-size couches. And the TV is way over there. So again, that would be my only complaint. I feel like that would need to be a bigger TV. It's like a 55 inch. But other than that, they did a very, very nice job on this. Before we take a look at the um, dining area, let's take a look at the kitchen. So right here we have our pantry. I wonder how big this is because I know the bathroom eats up some space. Oh, you know what? Sorry, this is, this is your coat closet. So your coat closet's right here because your powder room's right there. That is your two-car garage, and your pantry is right there. That's actually kind of nice, the fact that, like, when you bring in groceries, you're literally right here. No need to drag them upstairs. No need to drag them in throughout the house. You have your island, good size overhang. They did the stainless steel options, and again, I'm a big fan of this. I'm doing oil rub bronze handles, literally these exact same handles, hardware on mine, but they're the oil rub, uh, blah, blah. they are the oil rub bronze, not the black. And I have gray cabinets and it looks really good. I, I almost like this better. Really, really nice color combination. Again, so we have our double basin undermounted sink. Here would be your view. And this is what I'm almost saying. I almost wish the the TV was on that wall and didn't have a double window and you could walk through right here. Let me know what you think. I feel like that is the only misstep they took in this house. I'd like to see the TV over there so that you could watch TV while washing dishes and all of that kind of stuff. Other than that, I mean, I, I'm a fan of this. You have your stainless steel dishwasher. Again, I'm really, I'm really liking this cabinetry. There's a good amount of uh, counter space in here. You can always set this up as kind of a espresso bar. Now these are only the 36 inch uppers. They don't go quite to the ceiling. The ceiling is only not, uh, eight feet in here. They did do the backsplash. Other than that, very, very nice. So you have your microwave, you have your five burner cooktop. This is an optional upgrade. As far as appliances go, the standard is gonna be four. And then you have your microwave. Let's check and see. I know a lot of people always ask. So that's gonna only vent. And you know what's so funny? The, the bathrooms don't have the soft clothes. The kitchen does. But it only will vent inside. It's not gonna vent outside. Again, they did a nice job on the backsplash. You do have, um, what are those? Uh, USB outlets. You have a phone outlet. You have your pantry. So standard pantry. And then this is gonna be an additional option where you can add more cabinetry right there. I almost feel like that's needed because this is a very, very large dining space. I know that's a six person dining table, but by no means does it eat up too much of the room. 100% I would option for the additional cabinet and the additional counter space because I mean, if you're gonna have family over, I know right now we're not allowed to have family over for Christmas or holidays, um, but this is a really nice serving area. So let's check out the backyard. They've locked these. Again, really, the views are so pretty. So backyard on any new build you're going to get, depending on the model, this one may come with the pavers, it may not, I don't know with this model. 
Um, expect to pay average backyard out here is thirteen to fifteen thousand dollars. This backyard, I'm gonna guess it's like five, maybe four. I know the synthetic grass can start adding up, but whenever you buy new, if you have a backyard, expect to pay $15,000. If you wanna put a pool in, pool, spa, heater, no question, $50,000. Really, very nice home. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. I do read everyone's comments. I love what you guys have to say. Some of you guys are pretty hilarious, actually. So. Again, if you have questions, all of my info is down in the description below. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Feel free to reach out to me via phone, text, email. Again, let me know what you think about this one. Is this your style? Do you like townhomes, the duplex style? I don't know if I like them, but I mean, this home is really, really nice. Again, Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna do a 12 days of Christmas giveaway. You have to be subscribed in order to win. So make sure to hit the notification bell. Those are gonna be coming up soon. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.